the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, the Junior Novelization. Chapter 21. The team scrambled out of the way just in time. Now what? SpongeBob asked. We're never going to make it! Boar groaned. SpongeBob looked around for a solution and spotted a bicycle! With SpongeBob and Patrick working the pedals and Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Squidward on the handlebars, they were able to make the bicycle glide right, al right along. To humans on the sidewalk, the bicycle looked like it was moving without a rider. When a mother and her ba- When a mother with a baby stroller saw the bike, she stopped and stared. Mr. Krabs frantically rang the bike's bell. Bring, 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 bring. But the mother didn't budge, so Mr. Krabs jumped from one bike handle to the other, tipping the bike just enough to make it swerve and miss the woman with the stroller. Unfortunately, that sent the bike straight toward a surfboard leaning against the truck. The bike zoomed up the surfboard and flipped upside down. Yahoo! Patrick whooped. They all flew off the bike and landed in a toy wagon. Whoomp! The five team members peered up over the edge of the wagon and saw Burger Beard's Burger Mobile, a sign read home of the Krabby Patty. A long line of customers snaked away from the little order window. What the? Mr. Krabs exclaimed. Home of the Krabby Patty? SpongeBob read in utter disbelief. The customers eagerly devoured the burgers as fast as they were served up. Mr. Krabs read a smaller sign. Eight ninety nine for a Krabby Patty? Why didn't I think of that? Inside the Burger Mobile, Burger Bear was grilling up Krabby Patties, happily humming to himself. <laughs> he heard a voice say, "You!" accusingly. It was Mr. Krabs. He was standing on a window ledge with SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, and Squidward looking angry. Cease and desist that unauthorized patty flipping! Yeah! SpongeBob added. That's my job! Burger Bear dropped his spatula. <coughs> How did you get here? He asked, astonished. You can't leave the water and breathe air. Well, SpongeBob explained politely. There was this magical dolphin from the future who shot us out of this blowhole and now. Wait! Burger Bear inter interrupted as he flipped the pages of his book. That's not in the book. There's no magical dolphin in this story. Mr. Krabs looked confused. Book? What story? Burger Bear grinned, showing a mouthful of rotten teeth. <coughs> the story of how Bikini Bottom was brought to its knees when its beloved Krabby Patty formula was stolen by me, Burger Beard. <laughs> he laughed an evil, sickening laugh. He laughed an, an evil, sickening laugh. Patrick sat down to listen. How does it end? He asked eagerly. <clears throat> Burger Bear looked in his old book. Well, let me see. He said slowly. It looks like Burger Bear becomes the richest food truck owner in all the land. But how did you steal the formula? SpongeBob asked. Burger Bear shrugged. It was easy. I simply rewrote the story and poof! Secret formula. <laughs> he held up the bottle for them to see. They all gasped. <gasps> Me formula! Mr. Krabs croaked. You rewrote the story, Squirt sneered. That makes no sense. I'm not buying it. Fine, Burger Beard said. I'll show you. He pulled out a feather pen and wrote in his moldy old book, reading out loud as he wrote, The brave and handsome Burger Beard banished our poor heroes to become stranded on Pelican Island! Energy began to swirl around SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Squirt, and Mr. Krabs. Yeah! They all screamed, and then they vanished. The end! Burger Beard said, laughing as he slammed the book closed. <laughs>
stay tuned for chapter 22 coming up soon.